ACC champion at 141. So it'll be Matthews and Crook, and it'll be McNeil and Ryan Jack, reminding you four NCAA qualifiers at 141. Now back over at Matt One, we'll move to 149, where Zach Sherman won the ACC title at 41 in 2020. He comes in at four and three, and he'll take on Tyler Badgett out of Pitt, who's 16 and 10, 29 and 21 overall. At 149, Mike, there are three NCAA qualifiers. The winner of this will take on Caleb Henson, who's the number one seed out of Virginia Tech, and we're underway at 149, Matt One coverage. Right to two or one by Sherman, looking for a foot sweep. You know, Sherman's a five seed, but I, I, I like the way he wrestles personally. Um, I've watched him wrestle quite a bit, and I love his level changes. I love his fakes. I love his double. Um, we'll see how his, op I guess we'll, we'll see how, how he decides to wrestle this match, but I like how he works from space. Looks like he's got a shoulder brace on though, so maybe, you know, wrestling with some injury. But doesn't look like it with that type of aggressive punch with both hands to the shoulders. Got an overtie here. Nice snap attempt by Sherman. Sherman, Mike, did not wrestle against Pitt this year. He did get a win over Patrick Rowland from Duke in major 12 to 1. He lost to clearing out of Virginia 6-4 in his last match headed into the ACC championships here today. It looks like Sherman is really liking this 2-1-1. He went to it straight off the whistle, and now he's back to the same tie. So let's see what type of offense he creates here. He's, again, a second foot sweep attempt. Nice shot by there. Still at zeros, Badgett 16 and 10. Shot attempt and there by Badgett. Nice level change. Looking to hopefully get some reaction on Badgett. Sherman here in the front headlock position. Here is a position that I feel like guys can capitalize a little bit more on. You end up in this position inevitably in almost every single match. Whether someone snaps you down or you snap someone down, or whether someone shoots and you defend, you typically end up in that short off position at least once every single match. And I feel like guys cap could capitalize a lot more. Beautiful shot there by Sherman. Underneath, good job getting the leg hooked. Driving, trying to get pressure forward. Wow, I like that. That's a really nice suck back. Driving, 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 keeping a good amount of weight on the hands, looking for that same attempt that he made earlier. That was interesting. I haven't seen that before. Sherman with the 2 0 lead. Jared Moxe, he likes Sherman, and there's a lot to like. As I mentioned, he won the ACC title back in 2020 at 41. You know, obviously, wrestling at 49, and like you mentioned, he's been a little banged up this year. Yeah, it's, surprised. it's a surprise to see him see that number five, to be honest. I've, I've seen him wrestle some pretty good matches. I'm not able to follow, you know, every single match. But for the matches that I have seen him wrestle over the past couple of years, I, I like what I've seen on Sherman. Badgett with the point, ranked number 27 by Intermat. Richard sophomore out of San Diego. Rancho Bernardo High School. Yeah, I know UNC's done a really, really good job over the past couple of years. Coleman Scott, an Olympic bronze medalist in 2012, who wrestled for Oklahoma State under John Smith. He's done a really good job with that program. He's got an elite staff that he's brought as well that's done a really good job. You know, you have Jamil Kelly, who is an Olympic silver medalist for Oklahoma State as well. You have Tony Ramos, who is a national champion for the University of Iowa, who's on staff as well. And I think part of their success has a lot to do with their staff, really good job there by Sherman. Looking for sets of backs, he's got his four. Let's see if he can transition to a fall. He's gonna let him roll back over. 
Davis heard Knox Hayes got his four, and indeed he does. So now the lead is 6-1, and just putting a capper on Colin Scott, like you, an NCAA champion. He won it at 133 back in 2008 at Oklahoma State. Yeah, Colin was a real elite wrestler. Really, really fast. And he had a beautiful double from space. Well, he's not that far removed from competitive wrestling. I mean, just a couple years ago, he made a run at the Olympics. Yeah. Trying to get there. <laughs> I hope you make it, Mock. Thank you, brother. Yeah, that's Thank awesome you. that you're in there. And I love that you're out at Colorado Springs. I started my career at Colorado Springs at the USOC. It's a beautiful place. It is. And that view of the mountains never gets old. Incredible. It never gets old. Pikes Peak, Air Force Academy out there. Is that fresh mountain there. God's country. That altitude will get you there. Well, that helps you, though, doesn't it? It does. It does, training-wise. It absolutely does help you. You know, uh, when we were at the Olympic Training Center, we're training. Shot there from Badgett. Defended really well shot by Sherman. Good shot. A good level change there. Doing a good job controlling the inside, Sherman. But Badgett's just kind of posting off on his head, trying to get him off. More control there by Badgett. Now looking to fight back inside with his right hand. Trying to figure out how to create offense here so he can close the gap on that lead. Nice fake by Sherman to get Badgett to reset. Like I was saying, Colorado Springs, that altitude will get you, man. Nice shot off the whistle here by Sherman. Reminding you at 149, three AQs out of the ACC. Badgett looking for a single attempt. Sherman sitting on it, looking to run corner immediately for the counter. Badgett does a really good job, re-squared up. Now he's got that elbow control. Now, keeping that elbow control for Badgett is it's huge. It makes a big difference. It kind of locks Sherman in there from being able to run corner. And it just makes it really, really hard for the guy who's over the top to look for a counter or look for a score. See the rankings right there. Henson at 8, Arrington at 17, McLaren at 25, Sherman at 26, Badgett at 27. It's really tight. You know what's crazy about the rankings here at 149 is the two youngest guys in the bracket are the two guys that are at the top of the bracket. Those, both of those guys are true freshmen. Well, that's what I was talking about, the reloading. Virginia Tech and NC State, they're now wrestling destinations for the top wrestlers. Absolutely. And it, it's just crazy. True freshmen, mm -hmm. and they're the top two guys in their bracket at the ACC tournament. They come in ready. They do. They do. Both those programs do a tremendous job. Not just recruiting, but developing. Roby for Virginia Tech, Coach Papalizio for NC State. Had to be a thrill to wrestle for Coach Pops. It was. It absolutely was, man. We, uh, man, I can tell you stories. <laughs> Maybe we'll wait when we have an NC State wrestler out there. 6-2 <laughs> in this one with Sherman on top. Five seed. Sherman with the overtime. It looks like Gadgets having a tough time creating offense. Because what Sherman will do is he'll just kind of post over the top. He'll look to control inside, but when he's not controlling inside from space, he's just keeping his distance and faking every once in a while to reset him. Sherman will get the win. That means a date with the youngster that you mentioned, Caleb Henson, who is 16-3 and three as the number one seed. And as we've been doing, we'll get you 